Alright guys, you've already seen the title and thumbnail of this video. Today we're going to be talking about force. We use force in our everyday lives and it's all around us. So I present to you forces. Hello academics, I know I've been gone for like a really long time, but I'm back and today's video will be about force. Well, to understand force better, we'll have to understand Newton's laws of motion. What is that? All right, just let me explain. All right, well, the first law is that an object will not change its motion unless a force acts on it. If we use an object to hit the orb, well, it's gonna move, right? But it wouldn't have moved unless it was hit. Motion. If we have, let's say, an obsidian rock that's a mass, a force hits it, and acceleration occurs. If we spray this spray can, it's going to create force. Propulsion. Because for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Alright, mate. Let's get into the juicy stuff. The types of forces are friction, gravitation, applied force, push and pull, drag, magnetism, tension, and buoyancy. Let's dig deeper. Friction is a force that slows down objects, depending on how rough the texture is. Like how this poor guy had to grab it. He couldn't have done it without friction. Gravitation's about to be a juicy explanation. Gravity, otherwise known as gravitation, is a force that pulls things to the center of a mass. Think of space like a net-like fabric. This is how I explain gravitational force. Say we have a rather small planet. Because it's so small, it doesn't make a huge dip in the fabric. The more massive an object, the larger the dip, and that brings things down with it. That's gravitational force, sucking things to the center of a mass. Applied force is simple. It's the concept of push and pull. <laughs> now for drag force. Alright, well you see, drag, the less aerodynamic an object is, the more air is caught to slow it down. Where's the movie day, huh? <laughs> On to magnetic. Nah, no, no, we're not gonna use these, we're gonna use magnetic rocks. Loads going to magnemite. Let's use steel, nickel, cobalt, and iron since they're easily attracted to magnets. Such objects are called ferromagnetic materials. Now, every single magnetic field on the planet, and in fact the planet is one, has a north and south pole. It comes out the north, all of those electrical charges, and into the south pole, and then the process repeats. A pole must be attracted to a different pole, else the pole will be repelled, because it's the same pole. But opposite attracts, both literally and metaphorically. In Asian countries such as China or Japan, there are extremely fast trains that are operated by magnets called maglevs. And on to tension. Alright, let me show you what that means. Tension is just a force created by tugging, and right now you're tugging against a snake. Ignore that. Anyway, let's see what happens when we pull. Because of the tension, the object in the middle goes up because the tension makes the rope tense, causing it to bounce. Now on to our last one, buoyancy. Buoyancy is how well an object sinks or floats in water. That floats! Like, like and, and subscribe! subscribe.